What's going on, Cancer? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you your March 2021 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well in the Cancerian community. I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support for those of you who continue uh, without fail to show me um, and the channel uh, the love and support. Um, I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. For those of you who are new, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Guys, I post every week for all placements, so just keep in mind you're not can just cancer. And if this doesn't resonate, even if it does, make sure you check your other placements so that you understand what's going on with you uh, as a whole, okay? So the Silent Enemies reading is a reading that um, encourages us all to pay attention to our, our God-given gift of intuition, okay? Um, a lot of us will ignore it, because we um it goes off when we're around people closest to us well what that's doing is that's dulling your intuitive and in, um your energies your intuitive power um so because you're dulling it because you think it's okay because you're around people you know when you really get into a situation where you need it because you have not used it um it will be difficult for you to use and then more it will be more challenging for you to see what's going on around you and to you know protect and defend yourself if need be so it's very important that you don't ignore your intuition just because it came up around your mom or it came up around your kid or it came up around your lover or it came up around your best friend um investigate that intuitive nudge and and rule it out as a false alarm if need be but the goal is to investigate it and not to ignore it uh, a silent enemy could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be a colleague, a co-worker, it could be your landlord, it could be your kid's teacher. Anybody who's in your energy on a regular basis and you just get a weird vibe about them, um, if it feels very uncomfortable for you um, and, it's and you feel like it's directed at you, you know, investigate it with precaution, okay? So we're going to put three cards out and I'm going to read the energies that I get from these cards and... Um, that will serve as your warning, okay, in reference to your intuition popping off. All right, don't try to make this fit. If it does not fit, it's not for you. Check your other placements this week on this on this particular type of video. All right, I need two more for cancer. Thank you. All right. So, cancer, what we have here is the eight of voices in reverse. We have the devil energy, major uh, arcana here, Capricorn energy. And we have the eight of materials in reverse. Now, um, we have two eights here, but they're in reverse, meaning that you're, in, you're being um, inhibited from, or you're being stopped from manifesting in these areas for some reason. Eights are about manifestation. All right, so we got two cards here that represent the number eight. And then we have the number 15, which is the devil. One and five is six. All right, so this is something that you need to move away from, okay? Because sixes are all about recovery, moving away to more peaceful uh, state of mind or place or being. Um, with this eight of voices in reverse energy here, this is an energy of um, Gemini. It's the eight of swords, okay? So in this case, with the eight of voices in reverse, um, your silent enemies reading, it's, it's, it's something you can see what's going on is what I'm seeing here. It's like you were in a situation where you may have felt that you had no alternatives, you know, you had no options, you had no uh, clear cut way to deal with what was going on. Your intuition was going off like crazy. Okay. And I feel like, um, what the universe is saying here with the, um, eight of voices in reverse is that you are not listening to your intuitive energies you are being told something about someone closest to you a family member a friend a ex-lover okay a boss a colleague uh, somebody that you deal with on a regular basis your intuition has been going off and the problem is is that you are not accepting the reality of it um, or you're not seeing it clearly. Someone is doing something behind your back. You have an intuitive uh, nudge about it and you are not exploring it and it could put you in jeopardy. Okay. You want to um, investigate any intuitive nudge before. Um, because I feel an energy of if this becomes too clear to you with the eight of swords reverse. This is all about something you realizing. Okay. Hey, I can get out of this situation. Or, hey, you know, I was looking at it from a different perspective. Now I understand what's going on. I feel like 
you are having a problem doing that. And this is why this is showing up as a silent enemy. You are still, I don't even know why it's came up reverse. I feel like this should be uh, upright here with the Eight of Swords. Because I feel like you are still in position here where you're not seeing what's going on. The danger is, is that you're not going to see it. Even though your intuitive energies are calling you about it. All right, swords are thoughts. Um, so, for example, you know, what what when your intuition goes off, right, that gut feeling, it automatically does what? It triggers a thought. It's like, hey, what was that? It was something you couldn't touch. It was something you couldn't see, but it was something you could feel. Like, I feel something's not right, right? And when you get that feeling, you automatically get that thought. That thought represents a sword. So you've had this thought with the Eight of Swords. You've had this thought multiple times about this person, place, thing, ideology, or situation. And for whatever reason, you're not seeing it or you refuse to accept what it is that you're seeing. And either way, this is going to put you in harm's way. So you really, really need to pay attention and address any type of, because um, you're very intuitive. So address any intuitive nudges that are coming about, okay? It could be about work. It could be about your lover. It could be about something going on with your kids. Um, it could be something about an ex that you may have children with. It could be about anything. But you've had on multiple occasions intuitive nudges about this one situation. So that should lead you to what it is that I'm talking about. You've had intuitive hits about this situation way too many times. And again, I don't know if it's because you're investigating more and trying to find out. Or if you are, I feel like for some of you, that's the danger. You're trying to investigate to find out with the Eight of Swords in reverse. And this is something that you don't need to know. You just need to move. For some of you, you're stuck on, you know how you know something is not right, but then it's like you stick around because you're trying to figure out what it is instead of accepting the fact that, yeah, something's not right, I need to bounce. Okay? Because usually, the saying is, usually when there's smoke, there's fire, right? But you're trying to see that fire for sure. It's like you smell the smoke, you see the smoke, you've seen it on more than one occasion, um, excuse me, more than one occasion, but it's like because you didn't see the fire yet, you're still sticking around. And that's what leads me to this devil energy here, okay? There's something very toxic in your energy, okay? Now, this could be you doing something toxic, okay? Or this could be you doing, yeah, doing something toxic and people figure you out. Now, if people figure you out, then, you know, they're going to look at you as if you are an enemy to them, Okay? But there's something toxic here. There could be some drugs. There could be some alcohol. There could be sex. There could be gambling. There could be porn. Um, there could be um, any eating, overeating. Um, you know, there's something here that you're having a hard time dealing with. And you're using coping mechanisms to deal. This could also be fear. Okay, your intuition could be going off about something and you're getting afraid. You're afraid. You could be afraid to lose something. You could be afraid to be found out about, especially if you have something going on that you don't want people to know. Um, you could be afraid that what you're stumbling upon as far as that intuition going off repeatedly is something that um, some of you just are nosy as hell. Okay, this is what I'm feeling here. Some of you are just nosy as hell. You want to see. And that's going to put you in a problem as well, okay? Um, if you're not afraid, then you're being nosy or you are dabbling into something where you're doing it in excess and it's becoming a problem for you. It's going to hold you back if it hasn't already, all right? This eight of materials energy in reverse, here's another eight in reverse here, okay? Um, eight of materials in reverse is you're not paying attention, you're not paying attention to the toxic energy or the toxic situation that's around you. I don't know why you're not paying attention to it. It could be because maybe, you know, you uh, quite don't, you know, you don't quite understand it. These could all be related, but they could all be separate energies here. Some of you, um, on another note here, I'm feeling like you may not be working. You may have lost your job. You may not have any uh, um, income coming in. Okay. That could be what you're afraid about and when you're going to get money. 
Okay, maybe you're um, sitting around waiting and now you're deciding, you know what, I'm just going to fill out applications. I can't sit around in fear uh, wondering when I'm going to get, you know, the stimulus check, something like that. Um, you know, and you could be sitting here like, okay, when is that coming through? But in the meantime, while you're sitting here, you're spending money um, on toxic uh, situations or you are afraid to act um, and you're sitting here waiting you know, for the government to tell you, okay, this is what's going on, and then you'll, like, something like that, okay, but I feel like there's a financial difficulty that you're experiencing as well, some of you are just not putting any energy and effort into yourselves anymore, you're letting yourself go, um, it could be because of a situation that you were in, but you're letting yourself go, you're drinking, you're smoking in excess, you could be, you know, like I said, I gave you all the scenarios and samples and situations that it could be as far as toxic, Anything that you uh, indulge in in excess, okay, is what I'm feeling here. And I feel the energy of you going to get burned, okay, or getting burned because of this. Um, I feel that you're being stifled from growing. You're being stifled from um, transforming with this toxic energy you could be afraid of the change that's coming so again i feel like some of you are afraid to deal with the reality of a situation here that you know a situation is over so for example some of you could have been dealing with someone and this person is no longer putting energy and effort and interest in you with the eight of materials reverse and um you may be having a hard time accepting that and letting that go so you could be doing toxic things as in you know constantly reaching out to this person even though they're no longer interested in you or this could be happening to you you cut someone off but yet they don't want to let you go they keep reaching out to you they keep trying to you know what i mean it, it could be a situation where maybe you want a relationship with someone right and this person doesn't want to give you the commitment that you want but yet this person doesn't want to let you go they want to continue to have sex with you drain you of your energy drain you of your time drain you of your resources and hope that you don't see it but yet um they don't want to give to you you know this person is resilient they keep coming back they keep you know and and you may not understand why they're coming back but it's simply because they're a narcissist they feed off your energy okay and they're going to continue to do so as long as you allow them so yeah they're going to continue to come back um but you have to, you know, not put any energy and effort into the situation with the aid of materials, okay? But at the same time, don't ignore the seriousness of the situation. Some people like to flirt. Some people leave the devil alone, and then they like to flirt with the devil afterwards. They may not indulge like, like they used to, you know, once they realize that this was devil energy. But they'll flirt with it every while. And, you know, it's like, okay, say you were, the best way to describe it is say you were held in this, um, on this campground. Uh, against your will and you finally got out um but you were so used to it and conditioned to the behavior uh the behaviors that you um you know got accustomed to while you were there that every once in a while you'll still come to the compound and you'll just walk around the fence you won't go in but you'll walk around the fence you may talk to somebody who's in the fence that can't get out you may communicate with them but it's like that type of energy returning to the scene of the crime is what i'm feeling here so I feel like that's what you're dealing with for some of you. And this person is very toxic. They're here to drain your energy. So you know why they're here. Be careful. Something could be going on at work too for some of you. You're not seeing what's going on at your job. Um, some of you are not seeing that there could be some toxic bullshit going on. You may have lost your job and you may not be realizing why you lost your job. Um, you could be afraid to accept the fact that, you know, you may be on furlough or something like that. But in reality, they may not want you back because they could be afraid of you. They may feel like you may have a violent temper for some of you or um, you may feel this way about this person, which is why you're, you're not dealing with this person. They may make you afraid or you may feel afraid or, you know, you may make these people feel afraid, which is why they're not allowing you to come back. Um but that's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. I, I, I know I went on it in a couple of different um, topics or whatever, but um, for some of you, it's separate topics, but some of you, all of this is related. So what we're going to do in the extended is we're going to pull like four cards for each of these and get into more specifics to see what other messages Spirit has for you. Uh, if this resonated with you as is, feel free to click the like button. And if you would like to leave a comment and how it resonates, please feel free to do so. Uh, please don't forget to click on the uh, subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. I post every week for all placements. Okay, so make sure you check your other placements, whether this resonates or not. 
We'll go to the extended now. I want to thank you for checking out the video. I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace, Cancer.